our lives have followed a long path. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Our world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. But everything is born from darkness, even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Once your faith overcomes despair, once we move beyond death. Once life returns to this world. We'll meet beyond that path. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function, not detected. Subject status, stable. Dagger, still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Secure me, breach. Secure me, breach. <laughs>
fly. It is time. Time to begin your journey. Seek out the cradle. Thank God, you made it out alive. Who are you? What is this place? You don't recognize my voice? I don't recognize a goddamn thing. Answer my questions. This place is an abandoned monolith built by the Rosetta Corporation. It housed one of the many silver gates that gave Rosetta access to Rift Space. Another dimension of space and time. Another dimension? Yeah. So, what are you exactly? An AI? No. No. You and I belong to a group called the Mayflies. We were on a military raid when something went very wrong. And you don't remember anything about what happened to us? All I remember is that we were fighting together, side by side, when everything went black. Alright. How did we end up here then? I don't know. My memory of the past still has wide-ranging gaps. But from what I can tell, we were the only ones who survived. Survived? You're a bird. Yeah, at this moment. But the bird is merely a manifestation of my consciousness. You'll just have to trust me when I tell you that we were both living, breathing human beings before the raid. Look, you have a ton of questions you want answers to. So do I. If we work together, maybe we can survive long enough to learn the truth about what happened. Interested? Yeah, I'm interested. Wait. Survive what? Exactly? Deviants and deviations for starters. They're in here right now. You'll see. Come on. Let's go find a way out. Tell me about this thing on my back. It's called a cradle. It protects you from stardust and allows you to channel certain powers. It'll be a vital tool if we want to survive. Good to know. It also contains my consciousness, so try not to damage it, okay? Sure, I'll do my best.
that? That was a deviant. A mutated human who was infected by Stardust. I was meaning to ask you about that. Stardust? Well, when the Silver Gates opened, Stardust just started pouring through. The majority of human beings never survived exposure to it, certainly not in high concentrations. Most people ended up turning into creatures like that. Is that a butterfly? Not quite. It's a deviation. Non-hostile by the looks of it. Okay. So, do we avoid it? No. Try using your cradle to contain it.
The Origin Entity is not evil, but it is a threat that humanity must protect itself from. The Living Silver Gate is on the other side of that door. We need to take her down, and we need to do it now. Rosetta reinforcements are going to be here any minute. We're running out of time. All right, let's move. Talon, you stay outside and hold off any Rosetta troops that try and stop us. The rest of us Mayflies will breach the room and eliminate the My target. My name's Victor Hand. Copy What's that. your name? I want to go home. I want to see my family. I know you do. Can you tell me how you ended up here? Men came and took me away. They said I'd been exposed. Exposed to what? Stardust. I see. I'm afraid. I want to go home. I understand. It's going to be okay. I'll find a way, but it may take me some time. They won't let you take me away. I overheard them. They have plans for me. to see you up and moving around your voice uh, who are you i like you was once a regular human but now i am an agent of change a glimmer of hope in a broken world what does that mean come with me and see for yourself What is this place? This is a liminal space separating your world from the world of the Origin Entity. Until you're ready to face the chaos beyond these walls, this is a safe space. The Origin Entity is what destroyed the world? Mankind's desire to be one with the gods led to the devouring of our world. Hubris. The devastation visited among all living things was the consequence of hubris, yes. But also of two realms colliding, one far more powerful than the other. And the origin entity, it's still here? 
The original Great Ones left after almost all living things had been consumed. Yet, the debris of that conflict still pollutes the land and harms the people who survived. It has led us to this moment in time. I don't understand. Find and contain the deviation in this facility, and you will gain the strength to confront the outside world. In doing so, you will also better understand your path. Is this deviation I've contained connected to you in some way? In a manner of speaking, yes. And now, it is a part of you. Your path is forming nicely. I still don't understand. What path? It will become clear in time. Be patient. Right now, we must overcome one final obstacle before you are ready. What's that? Deviance. Many of them, just beyond the barrier. When you're ready, I'll attract them to us. I will do my best to help you before this space collapses. Before this space collapses? What the hell are you talking about? The enemy will be very strong. Prepare yourself.
have done well, Mayfly. Your journey back is complete. Now, a new journey must begin. For the wheel of evolution never stops turning. Only the direction we travel is left unresolved. Remember that the disaster that has befallen our world is not the end, but the beginning of something much greater. Are you coming with us? For now, my place is here. Yours is out there, beyond the Silver Gate, in the world of humans. Though your path will be fraught with danger, you must move ever forward toward fostering a new era of progress for humanity. Where do we start? What do we do? Shut down the silver gates inside the monoliths. Embrace the power of Stardust energy. Gain strength for the battle to come. What battle is that? You will understand when the time comes. For now, help the people and safeguard humanity against those who would threaten its survival. As you gain more power, we will meet again in the in-between. Good luck, Mayfly. We made it. We're back in the real world. Really? Looks the same to me. I'm still figuring out what this new form of mine is capable of, but I can sense it through the cradle. Okay. So, now what? Find the nearest monolith and shut down the silver gate inside? You realize you don't even have any clothes yet, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First we should set up a base of operations, then grow our strength from there. Like before, there seem to be butterfly deviations here in the real world as well. If you can contain them, we should be able to use them to set up a territory of our own. 
contain butterfly deviations, establish a territory of our own, grow stronger, then shut down the Silver Gates. Oh yeah, and get some close. It's a plan. Speaking of which, I've come up with a good way to keep track of our goals. I've set up a journey interface through your cradle. If you're ever unsure of what to do, you can always check that for our next step. How bad did things get when this Rosetta Corporation opened those gates? It got real bad. The death toll alone was unfathomable. They called it Starfall. Far too pretty a name for what actually happened. And today? It's still bad. But those who survived are trying to build new lives. The Mayflies, you and I, we were trying to help when and where we could.
Good job setting up our territory. It's nice to have a place of our own, even if it is a bit bare bones. Maybe basic, but it's a good starting point. The more we discover out there and the more power we gain, the more we'll be able to build. And time will make it feel like home. I hope so. I assume there are still some towns left. Some. After the devouring, the survivors eventually banded together and formed small settlements. If I remember right, the nearest settlement from here is a place called Deadsville. Sounds inviting. I wouldn't go expecting the height of luxury, but it should be a good place to dig up useful info in the area, and maybe scrounge some materials. Stop right there! Uh, who are you? Hey, calm down. If I came here to a... Fine. You don't look like a vulture anyway. Uh, but who are you? Just a... lost traveler in the wilderness. Saw the light of your fire, thought I'd come take a look. Well, then you're not alone. Most folks here got trapped out in the wilderness and ended up seeking shelter. The same thing happened to me. Ah, come on in, friend. We got bunks by the campfire, and we pooled what food we have. Uh, just put your gun away, and they'll be glad to share with you. I didn't expect there to be so many survivors here. From the looks of it, most of them are barely getting by. The name of this place strikes me as rather apt. I get the feeling many here are only a step or two from the grave. Did something make you this pessimistic, or were you just born this way? <laughs> I wonder if you'll still be so optimistic after you see what the food supply here is like. But getting down to business, why don't you go ask around about the Stardust Residue? I have the feeling we'll be able to turn up something. 